So, today I went to the gym and something interesting happened. I'm in the sauna and as usual for this gym that has a guy only sauna, um, I sit down, um, undo my towel so I'm exposed and I can just sweat and get rid of all my toxins, whatever. And, but this one time I noticed that there's sort of a scrawny Mexican kid behind me, um, like thin, young, and at one point he kind of scoots over to his left and gets against the wall, and he's playing with like a little video game thing, I think, the lights and stuff. So I'm sitting there for a little bit, just not really paying attention to that, just it looks like he's playing a game or something, not really thinking about it, and um, suddenly I get a gut feeling just to look and see what he's doing. And I look over, and he's kind of moving his thumb, like pretending he's texting, but I don't think he was actually pushing the buttons. And he just looked like deer caught in headlights, all uh, surprised. And he flipped his phone shut, and I get another gut feeling that I need to just put my towel on, walk out to a faraway place because something told me that, you know, he took something and I need to be away in case there's another one. And so I do, and I go to the far shower or whatever, and when I come back, he's gone. Um, I've thought about this and I keep thinking, I, I wish I had confronted him, I wish I could have turned him in, I wish I could have said something to him or said something to the staff or gotten his phone or deleted a picture if he took one or whatever it was and I, I really feel like he took at least one and that's something just ESP or gut feeling or something went off in my head but I don't know if my feeling was that I needed to get out of the room I don't know why but for some reason that must have been right for the circumstances I, I don't know why though and this has messed up my day, the rest of it. I have been feeling weird and so violated. And I know that something wasn't right about it. And, you know, people are stupid sometimes and do weird things because they're curious. And I've seen people do weird stuff, like just the weirdest stuff and weirdest ways of making excuses to talk to me or, or just be behind walls and watch me and, and stupid stuff. And, you know, if you want to see someone, see them. If they don't care, they don't care. I don't really care, but in pictures, it's a whole different story. I've been feeling so weirded out the rest of the day and just kind of wigged out and freaked out. And I really hope he's not going to do anything stupid with the picture um, if he took one or more. And I'm just crossing my fingers that he isn't going to like put it online or something. But I've been afraid of that happening because I happen to know that on Xtube there was like things with hidden cameras on videos and stuff and I guess it's become really easy to hide hidden cameras places and ever since I knew that I've been afraid of you know people doing stupid stuff with their cameras on their phones or putting hidden cameras at places and that's just sort of the chance we take when we're outside now because things have developed in technology the way that they have and I, I was feeling really unsettled today because of how many cell phones I was seeing and you know I, I usually made a point of just watching people's cell phones and make sure that they're not pointed towards me in case somebody's a perv or something but this time there was like six people in cell phones in the locker rooms or, or saunas or something like that I was just thinking dude this is it's really inappropriate because we don't know that you're not some perv that's gonna be taking pictures or it's just unsettling and I don't know I think I need to just start confronting these people and just tell them to please not use your cell phone here. We don't know that you're not per taking pictures. And it's just, it really, it freaks me out. And this is not in any way like a conceited statement. There are pervs that take pictures with their cell phone cameras. It, and it's just what I'm freaked out about whenever I see cell phones in locker rooms. And for once, it, it actually happened. My biggest fear with that has actually come true. And oh God, it's made my rest of my day weird. Oh, that sucks. What a horrible violation of privacy. And I just really, really hope that nothing weird happens with it, that he's caught or something. And I just 
I want to know if anybody else has had any weird experiences like that or what they did or how it stuck with them, if they regretted how they handled something. I always told myself that if that ever happened to me, I would break the person's phone or, you know, get rough with them or make sure the picture was deleted. But for some reason this time I just had the overwhelming sense that I needed to just leave and I did and then he was gone and I don't know, I went with that feeling. I don't know if that was right or not, but for some reason that's what I felt like I was supposed to do. I don't know why. Maybe confronting him would have just freaked him out so much that God didn't feel like he deserved that or something. <laughs> um, anyway, I want some thoughts on this. Thank you.